What's going up? Whoa, you cannot see me. Why can you not see me? Am I invisible? At least you can hear me, right? There is something. There we go, problem solved. All right, all right, all right. So today I am way later than um, I'm supposed to stream. So I'm gonna go with start our usual update. You Japanese or something? Ohio gozaimasu. Sounds sounds Japanese. I don't speak Japanese, but yeah. Ah. Oh. So what does it what does it mean? I know gozaimasu is something like 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 related to something that already ha no. That's gozaimaste, right? Related to something that already happened. Gozaimasu is just like a lot, right? I yes, I yes. Actually, I do. I do know this. I used to. I used to like. I used to remember a couple of words. Um, is kumbaya or something? Some like evening or like you know, like good evening, like. Um, I remember. Obviously, I remember like arigato, arigato gozaimasu, arigato gozaimaste. Um, I remember more. I remember hi, so this. I remember. Itadakimasu. Yeah, I have a good memory. <laughs> I should have muted my microphone. I also remember party ni ikimasu ka? The most important thing. Um, no, I don't know a lot. I just know a couple of words. Um, uh, I, I had a Japanese girlfriend for like uh, for like a couple of months. So um, hmm, Nepal. So what language do you do you usually speak? Right. Well, I, I guess I could have. I could have guessed that. Is it related to some? Like, is it? Um, like, is it related to some other language? Like, is it? Uh, yeah. Namaste. Yeah. Okay. So I guess it's related to one of the millions of the Indian languages. Um, I don't think I. I don't think I know a single Indian word. Well, except Namaste doesn't count. Yeah, that that that's what I meant. Yeah. Um, why is so much stuff yellow? Why is this yellow? How is how are so many things yellow? Hold on, hold, what? Did we not commit that thing? Why is it just laying around? So I forget, forgot to add it to the commit. Oh well. Um. Hmm. Let me make sure that everything compiles. We compile the whole workspace. And. Um, Let's also do this in SBT. Probably not at the same time. 
but like uh, maybe it's good to start to start seeing this whole parallel compilation thing. By the way, let me know if the music is like too too aggressive or too loud. Um. Oh, look what's look what's happening to my CPU. Like I'm on a laptop. I'm currently like building a desktop. It's gonna take forever, but I'm currently like planning to um to do it. It's kind of complicated. Like it's kind of hard to get um get access to exactly what I need uh, where I am. So um I'm kind of liking it so far, but let me know if it's too loud because uh, usually we have something chilled. Um, um, so I can I can make this one a bit quieter uh, if necessary. Uh, also, don't forget to hit the like button. Uh, uh, all right, so uh, what? Are we oh, that was fast. Let's also ask SBT what SBT uh, thinks about this whole stuff. Like usually, I would like shove shove this thing into the previous commit, uh, but. Um, but right now I kind of don't want to, um, because technically it's not day 15 anymore, it's day 16, so let's just go like this, um, day 16, alright, I don't want to like things to be on. So uh, while it's been compiling in the background in parallel and like destroying my um, we should go to the program over here right so as a reminder like i'm still not happy about like this whole thing uh wow even like my cursor is lagging we really should need we really should wait for sbt to finish okay there we go um it's already taking 42 seconds let's also do scal fmt let's see it's already 42 seconds that's a lot because like we don't have the entire code yet, and um, and like the the version that had like everything in one thing already took like only fifty seven seconds, I believe. So uh, it doesn't look good so far. <laughs> um, all right. Um, okay. So this is what what we have been doing. We have migrated several use cases to this new shiny diamond architecture. Uh, we have like these two like authentication middleware thingies uh, that I call controllers, but they're sort of not control. And uh, and we have like these ones which are like more like regular controllers. And and for us like controllers is everything that just has routes. Um, we have like two versions of controllers. We have like uh, open controller and admin controller. Uh, which is something that I'm going to adapt a little bit because initially I thought that we would uh, we would have controllers that would have like both kinds of routes, and I think we should enforce this that that we're not going to have this, right? So you either have the open routes or the admin routes, and we will do this kind of refactoring maybe even today if I feel like it. Uh, we'll see, uh, and then we will rename like this open routes to just routes and this admin routes to just routes because they're going to be uh, always like disjunct, all right? So. Um, in the previous stream which was on friday i missed the stream on monday we moved like two of these right we moved brand and so um we have taken a look at at what is remaining in modules core source scala uh shop uh by the way that was tokens that was token generator Okay, so this is just for fun, okay. So, um, we had services, and so we went just like this. So we got we got the auth, uh, we got the brands. So I kinda wanna like, just go down like this, like, I don't wanna like, cherry pick them. Like one is like super interesting, well, it's actually moderately interesting, is this one, right? Uh, transaction items, because this one is going to require us to use transactions. However, in our case, like like because as I already mentioned many times, like it's it's a very common question how to do um, transactions in in any kind of like layered architecture, because layered architecture sort of implies that you have like a trade for the database and you have the implementation that is somewhere else and you have this 
this notion of you know we can throw out the database anytime and replace it with something else which is which i don't subscribe to i don't i don't agree with this um i, I believe that these things are a bit orthogonal right so just because they're like separated like this it does not mean that you can just throw out throw one of them out like for example we have a trade called redis in the core right so we're already implying that we're going to use redis and not some other caching mechanism like uh, like etsy for example right so uh if you get a couple of years of experience you kind of learn that all abstractions are, are leaky okay so if you replace like this you know postgres with some other uh database that does not have transactions uh, like mongo for example for a very long time didn't have transactions i believe these days they do right then uh this abstraction will you know fall apart a little bit so because in our case it's not going to be so spectacular because in this case it's going to be very um well actually maybe well actually we, we'll see so so the point is that i want to try to do this like at the very very end because i have a i have a suspicion that uh we're going to find something that i'm going to um i'm going to be able to demonstrate to you like Like I didn't notice it in the previous one uh, because we we're just like blindly copy pasting things. But usually it's not a good idea to have your use cases be nouns, right? So over here we have like, okay, this is brands, this is categories, this is orders, this is items, you know? It's usually not a good idea. However, in this case, I believe that the issue that I have with it is not is not that tragic because it's just like in this particular case it's just a naming issue right it's like if we go to brands okay well we can find them and we can create them right and I believe like in my case I actually separated it and this is pretty much exactly why right so you have like the same algebra for both finding and for both and for creating and the way like I structure my application like I probably I probably did it like automatically you know that uh, was split it up into right into into admin and into you know the regular branding right so the regular branding only had like the find all and the admin uh, uh, admin uh, you know brand, branding admin had the create right I, I did it like automatically but we'll get to this while you know when we get to the conversation about about transactions so for now um, hey hey man uh, hey um be crown i need a bigger screen or glass um how are you doing so so yeah so because i want to do like transactions at the very end uh i would like to just like keep going with the list okay so we're just going to grab uh i believe categories was the next one right um and by the way i know that i haven't explained why it's not a good idea to uh to have to use nouns for your use cases but we will have this conversations uh once we get to the two transactions okay so categories pretty much the same deal which means that you know i'm pretty sure that you know create is also going to be used by the admin routes yeah it's exactly the same deal so it should be um you know we should be really really fast uh at this today how many of you guys are here don't forget to hit the like button uh so that more people stumble on the stream and uh here we go okay so uh categories uh first of all we're gonna pin it uh let's see what we have here so we have the admin brand routes uh we can close this uh what do we have here uh brand routes we can also close this uh this doesn't really we're gonna keep it just for just for just in case all right so this is the categories so uh, we are already a little bit smarter because you know we did exactly the same thing with branding, so we know that it's not going to be the same algebra. So uh, we're going to go over here, right? And we're going to go on uh, you uh, probably new file, right? Because I want to create you know uh, categories like in the other like like see like this is where I'm like running into issues already with with like nouns, right? Uh, like if I call it categories, right? It, it means that, you know, we're gonna have a package called categories, which means that it's gonna be hard to call a val categories, right? And I don't wanna call it some like 
categorization or some stuff like this. Um, well, I guess we'll go with categories. Yeah, I guess we'll go with categories. Okay, uh, categories boundary. Like this, all right. So, um, well, we can pretty much go and just let like, grab this and paste it over here. And it's only gonna have find all, okay? So now it's probably gonna complain because we don't have a category, all right? Correct. So, uh, let's go grab the category. Um, it has the typical suspects, has a category ID, has a category name. It's exactly the same deal as, uh, you know, as was the branding, okay? So we need to remember how we did it was a branding. I believe we put it into the branding package object. Exactly, okay? So we can pretty much just copy this and uh, put it in categories, okay? So um, this is going to be categories, and we're going to find brand, and we're going to change it going next to category. Okay, like this. Next, 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 next. There we go. Okay. So, uh, we don't have category yet. Also, we need to find brand. Um, change go next as category. Next one as well. All of them like this. All right, cool. So, now all we need is a category. So, uh, we had a brand like this. Okay. So, I'm pretty sure that it's going to be exactly like that. You know, same way. Uh, category. And by the way. I oh, know it's all good. Okay, category. So this is going to be category, and the package is going to be categories. All right, like this. Cool. Uh, missing parameter type. Uh, hold up. Uh, okay. So okay, yeah. So this needs to be. Whoa! No, no, no. Uh, brand. Change go next. Category. And the next one as well. All right, ta-da! All right, so I'm pretty sure that uh, you know this category looks the same same way. Category ID, category name. Yeah, there we go. Cool. So, up, up, up. Um, so we're over here boundary. So the implementation is going to be yeah. So we we should not forget to call it boundary. Okay. So uh, object boundary implementation because remember we're going to move it out at some point. I'm a beginner scholar and most of the time I'm confused if I should continue watching your videos even when I feel like some basic background or and then I get confused and lost. Okay, so if you're talking about my streams, you should not watch my streams because uh, what we're doing right now is we're doing something, you know, advanced. Like, I, I, I like this is not a beginner thing, right? Um, <clears throat> so if you've never programmed before, I have a playlist called um, uh, Scala, your first programming language. All right, so let's uh, let's go check it out. So if you go to, uh, for example, devinsidey.com and you click on courses, then uh, if you scroll down, uh, it's going to be this one, right? Scala, your first programming language. Uh, watch this one, right? Because it's like, it's like totally from zero. Like I even explain like, you know, what a freaking CPU is, you know? So watch this one. Like these streams are not for like the, the, the current, like what we're doing right now, like this project is not for beginners. We might do some streams for beginners at some point, but, but not this one. Okay, so don't uh, don't worry if you don't understand like most of this stuff. It's not, it's all it's all good, all right? Cool. Um, all right. So this is where we were. Um, like as a reminder, we don't want to have a companion object because we're going to move the boundary uh, into a different uh, sub module at some point, right? And then we're not going to be able to have a companion object in a different compilation unit. So we need to do this, okay? And so now we're gonna have def make, blah, 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 f, and uh, we should change the music. Uh, let's go with my favorite album, which is this one. All right. So, um, let's go and see what we actually need. All right, so it's all, it's all the same. Like, I, I'm thinking that we should just copy brands. I think it's going to be faster if we copy from our thing, uh, you know, from brands, right? Like, if you just grab this boundary, right? 
let's just go like this. Like this is a common um, uh, counter argument that you would get for like proper architectures is that like, like honestly, like most of the things that we're doing these days are like writing wrappers around databases. And so they don't have much logic, right? So this thing is just delegates to, uh, you know, to the gate. Find all categories. Okay, and it's gonna give the category. And uh, that's it. All right. So now we're gonna grab the gate from here and put it over here. And this is going to be category. And uh, I'm gonna find brands. And we're gonna change, go next categories. This one, this one, and uh, there you go. And uh, okay, Ch brand, change, go next category. There you go. This is fine. This is fine. Uh, what else was there? Pretty much nothing. All right, cool. So now we can go. Um, well, mesh already committed, right? So we have this thing laying around, so we can just like shove it in. Uh, there we go. So uh, we're looking for the boundary storage. Uh, let's actually find it like this, right? So we're gonna see like, where is the gate? And metals is not helpful. Okay, hold on. That was my bad. That was my bad. Okay. Uh, where is the, like, what I want to see is, like, where is the storage implementation? Okay, now I can blame metals. Okay. So, all right. We go to persistence, source, branding. I wonder if we should... Let's also do the admin one, and then we can just like copy paste the whole thing. Um, all right, so we can go to branding. We can just take admin, just like copy it, go to categories, just paste it. Okay, just go in there and go like this. Oh, not like this, like this, right? So this is categories, find brand, change, go next, category, uh, next, 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 next. And there we go. Exactly, same thing here. Categories, brand, change, go next. Category, all of them. There we go. Ta da! All right, cool. So now this means that we can just go to our persistence. Uh, just like copy this whole branding thing, paste it. Branding, copy, categories. All right. So storage Postgres. All right. So uh, this is going to be categories. Uh, we're gonna find the brand. Change go next. Uh, category. Uh, pretty much all. And this is like a typical issue with with English. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, let's also find brand. Uh, change go next to category. Whoa! No! 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 no. Okay, hold on. Uh, find brand, find brand, change, go next, category. All right, do this. And let me fix the one that I messed up, categories. And uh, here as well, categories. By the way, remember my short about about the, um, you know, plural names in the, in the database tables, you know? I just did like, you know, every name and if, had I not noticed it, you know, this would have been a bug. And I know that you guys don't like to write tests for, you know, for simple like this. This would have for sure been a bug. So, yeah. Um, admin, storage Postgres. And this is going to be categories. And uh, we're going to find brand, change, go next, category. And let's see. All right. Also, find brand and change. Go next category. No, let's enter again. Okay. So, uh, find brand. Change. Go next category. And all that. All right. So it looks like this one is messed up. Categories. And same one here. Categories. And there we go.
All right. So I would be surprised if if the real implementation did anything else. Right. It's all the same. It's all the same. Cool. Like this is what I meant. Like once we did once we did the authentication, you know, once we finish the authentication, like everything else is going to be so trivial uh, that it will be almost boring. Um, but I'm glad that you guys are still here. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button so that more people stumble on this. All right, same thing over here. Branding, uh, copy, paste, uh, categories. Okay. Uh, I'm in the wrong spot. I wanted to be here. I wanted to be... Probably let's start with Cersei Codex. Okay, so this is going to be categories. Uh, find brand. Uh, change to go next. Category. All of them. There we go. Uh, find brand. Change to go next. Category. All of them. There we go. Uh, controller. Over here. Categories. Uh, let's actually try to find brands. Do we have brands? Yeah, we do have brands. Okay, change go next categories. Okay, so now we're gonna find brand, and we're gonna change go next to category, all of them, and we're gonna find brand, and we're gonna go change go next uh, category like this. All right. Cool. And admin as well. By the way, I think. You might not even need this one. Yeah, I think we don't need this one. Yeah, we'll see. All right, so there is some package object which has brand params. So I guess there is a category param as well, right? Is there some like category param? Yeah, there is. Okay, it's all the same. All right, so this is categories. Um, brand change go next category, and the next one as well. There you go. Uh, I watched that playlist. Is there a playlist dependency as far as... Um, oh, I'm sorry, I cannot see the rest. Hold up. Um, is there a playlist dependency as far as learning paths for beginners concerned? Most of the learning videos are pretty advanced. Um, you mean like a prerequisite to that playlist? I don't think so. Um... Yeah, if, if this one is pretty advanced for you, uh, just go to my Discord and ask questions, you know? Just go to discord.davinsidey.com and if you don't understand something, just, just ask questions. Um, because like, in, because this one, like, I, I, I teach from zero, right? So just if you if you get stuck on something, just just go ask questions. Don't be, you know, uh, don't be shy or afraid that, you know, people are going to be mean or something. Uh, at least on my server, like usually people are very helpful. So uh, don't be afraid to ask questions. Uh, also, you can, you know, like here's the thing about programming, right? Like, like even even if you have like I don't know ten years of experience or whatnot, you're still gonna get stuck. It's like this is like part of the job, right? So like part of the job is like to to understand that you will never have all the answers, right? And so at some point you're just gonna have to like to be like, okay, well. I get stuck, like, how do I get unstuck, you know, do some research, if it doesn't help, I don't know, take a break, you know, go for a walk, maybe the idea will come to you, uh, it's helpful if you have somebody who, that you can just ask, right, if you have a friend who's already a programmer, uh, if not, you know, search for, you know, online communities, you know, like Scala has, you know, Reddit, uh, there's a bunch of stuff on Stack Overflow, there's a bunch of Discord servers, like, if you go to my Discord server, right, uh, which is, you know, just go to discord.diamondsided.com, by the way, forgot to click the publish button, right? If you like land in the welcome channel, you're gonna have a list of uh, a bunch of other Scala, um, uh, Scala Discord servers. I thought it was more. Why is it only five? Are they shrinking? 
Okay, they, they used to be like bloop. Yeah, there's skull, there's stop level, there's you, and there's skull and mana. And there's learning skull. Yeah, it's only fun. Okay. So you can pretty much go to like any of them and ask questions. Uh, and uh, usually they're helpful. All right. So what were we doing? Okay, we're here. Okay. Um, what is this going? Uh, all right. So categories. Uh, okay. So let's try to find like I, I like what we did with brands. So we go like this, and we change go next to categories, like that. And we just do this for all of them. Okay. And now we can do you know the rest, right? So we can find brand. And we can change go next to category like this. And then we can find the capital brand. We can change go next to category. And do all that. And there you go. That's it. Ta-da. Cool. This compiles. This compiles almost. Yeah. Um uh, to do just create an encoder instead. Alright. Um, uh, do the same for branding. We'll probably do this today. Uh, all right, let's sh Oops, not shove it. This is probably what I did last time. I was like, why I didn't like put them in there. All right, so let's go and do the eye. Um, oh, that's so, I'm so sorry. Uh, was it a, was it a programming job? Um, I wanted to go to DI. Where's DI? Yeah, so we can pretty much look at copy branding, right? Like, so categories. All right, so uh, let's go to. Let's start with admin. Why not? All right. So this is categories. Okay. So do we have brands? We don't. Do we have brand? We don't. We have brand? We don't. Okay. We're done. <laughs> like this is like because like we have this uh, consistent naming convention, right? It's just gonna be like this, and then it's just gonna work. All right. Yeah, it happens. Um, um, I hate telling people what they should do, but like, if, like, I usually prefer to have like at least enough money to, to be good for like three months, right? Like if some, something like this happens, you never know. And then like three months should be enough time to to find a good job. Also, to like relax a little bit, reflect a little bit, you know, and then find a job. Um, I hope you have some some backup like this. Um, I'm kind of curious though that you know, if you're like a super beginner, like such a beginner that you know even that playlist was a bit hard for you, then how are you doing like? Play framework and stuff. Um, you don't have to answer that. I'm just thinking out loud. It's not a question. Uh, all right. So what we wanted to do is we wanted to hook it in over here. All right. So we have branding controller and branding admin. We'll grab them. Um, so this is going to be categories controller. Uh, categories. I can't wait, by the way, to refactor this whole thing. Uh, but we already uh, wasted like a little bit too much time on this. Uh, so we're not gonna do this now. And here. And there we go. Oh, uh, that was that was too long for you. All right. Yeah. So as you can see, like, um, like usually, the the dependency injection point, like in any application, is just like so huge. That's why I didn't like it because I knew that it would like grow and grow and grow and grow. 
But we're gonna fix it at some point. Um, yeah, so this one is done. Uh, let's, like, there. Um, this was, like, very fast. So let's go to... Let's see if we can find, like, another one that is, like, also so simple. And then we'll do it. And then the rest of the stream, we're going to spend, like, refactoring some things. Because otherwise, it's going to be boring just, like, you know, me copy-basting stuff. Also, maybe make, we can make this this particular uh, stream today a little bit um, shorter. Because I said it's so late. Um... Okay, so I remember health check. Like health check is um, is a little bit more involved. Like there's some resistance stuff we'll do later. Uh, maybe not, probably not today. Uh, items. Let's see. Okay, so there's find all and there's create, right? But there's also a bunch of other stuff. Uh, there's orders. Okay, also like a tiny. Okay, there's probably orders is gonna be the next one that we're gonna do. Create looks a little bit more involved. And it needs items. Is card item the same as item? But other stuff like mo okay oh oh okay so 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 then I misunderstood your um your question I thought you wanted a prerequisite to that playlist okay so if okay then you're not a beginner uh, uh congratulations um all right so I, I have a playlist about monads I have uh, I have a video also about uh, paradigms uh which also points out the fact that I have a video about monads um. It's so interesting that that so many people stumble on monads. All right. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, you're not a beginner if you have four years of experience. So uh, okay, I totally misunderstood. You. Um, my bad. Uh, yeah. So so have you seen my playlist about monads? And if you have. Do you have questions? Um, I should probably do like just a Q&A stream again, like and I should like schedule it properly. And then I should probably do it on the weekend because like I'm in Brazil and it's and it's very late. So like there are always like so few people here uh, at this time, you know, like currently like YouTube says that it's, there's only one, but I can never trust this thing. Um, like it was showing like zero and I was talking to like two people so I so I never actually know um, how many people are watching see like it jumped to like three you know so yeah and the likes like jump to like like yeah whatever yeah don't forget to hit the like button um anyway so we got items uh, we got shopping okay shopping cart is probably the most involved one uh, and we have users okay so we probably probably need to do items and by the way, notice that there's items and there's transaction transaction items. So items are like find all, find buy, find buy, decree, create. And uh, transaction items has... It's just create. Oh, so this one is not used in the application. Oh, what a shame. Okay, so this was just a demonstration.
All right, nothing that a ventilator couldn't fix. <laughs> um, right, about monads. Um, don't worry about, about it that you don't remember this, right? Um, it's basically like, imagine that you have just four functions, you know, and like one calls the other, right? And uh, like, if you wanted to, you know, to actually, you know, write a function that, you know, calls all of them, right? Well, you would have to manually write it, right? You would create a new function, you would call the first one, you would get the result, you would take the, you know, the result and put it in the next one, get that result, put it in the next one, and so on and so on and so on. And so if you have monads, they do this for you, right? So, yeah. This is what I meant by this sentence, by this very specific sentence. Right, because uh, with uh, with normal functions, it wouldn't even be a big deal if you write this yourself manually. But with these like special kinds of functions, the one that return the result in some context, um, it's a lot of manual labor to do this. So, so you extract the common stuff into an interface called FlatMap. It has one function called FlatMap, and uh, and that's it. So now you can just call FlatMap which means that now you can automatically compose functions instead of doing it manually. I hope this helps. <laughs> All right, so what I was saying before my uh, laptop started dying, uh, which is also why I mentioned that I'm building a desktop because like I have always been afraid of this. And you know, tonight happens to be like a very warm night and you know, usually I close the windows for, you know, for the better sound. But now I actually open the window. I have a dynamic microphone, so we should be fine. By the way, did you guys uh, watch my videos about like how to sound good on camera and how to look good on camera and stuff? Um, also, I have to do. I have a to do item in my to do app uh, that I have forgotten. You know, I have a reminder that I have forgotten to mention the last time is that the giveaway that we did finished like a week ago. <laughs> it was successful, and congratulations to um, to the winners whose names I have forgotten. Um, also, like when, when I created the giveaway, I actually forgot to mention that um, that Gabriel actually uh, sponsored uh, the giveaway, right? So yeah, congrats to Epigram, Donor Tier, and Gally Malfrey. Congrats again. Um, Um, yeah, check my phone real quick. Hold up. to get this one real quick guys So, um, before my laptop started dying, I realized, which is also why my comments are red, so I noticed it, that it's actually not being used anywhere in the application, which is a shame. All right, so I guess the next thing that we're going to do are the items, 
Right, so we have like items left. So we have health check, items, orders, and shopping cart. So we're gonna do them like in the in the order of complexity. I believe like the next one should be items, uh, and then the orders. Let's have a look at the items real quick. Okay, it just goes to the database. It needs the brands, it needs categories. Perfect, so we're doing items. So, uh, are we committed? <laughs> uh, it's clean. All right. So, um, so we're gonna pin this one. Uh, we're going to unpin this one. Do you guys hear the airplane? No, you don't. Um, all right. So this one is pinned. So this one, I want to. This time, I want to see where they're used. Okay. So find all item routes makes sense. Find by is used in. Uh, interesting. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, find by ID. Okay, find by ID is used in the shopping cart. And this is exactly, um, this is exactly why we're not going to have, like, this is exactly why, like, this is so super important about this whole architecture thing, right? If you call your use cases with nouns, they will grow endlessly, right? So anything related to items, you know, you're going to start putting into items, right? So if you're doing 100 things with items, then this algebra is just going to like keep growing, right? I mean, this is a CRUD algebra, so there aren't that many things that you can do with it, right? Um, but still, and in fact, like, like the more I look at it, the more I'm... I don't know if I can use the word confused. Because maybe the services were not supposed to be like the business logic, right? But if it's not the business logic, then where is the business logic? You know? It has to be the business logic. So the point that I'm saying is that this time we're going to do it properly. And properly means we're going to start the view first, right? The test first, right? What, like, what thing needs to call this so that it works, right? And we're going to realize that there is nothing that is going to call find by ID, right? Because find by ID, like, as of right now, is only called in orders. Yeah, I'm sorry, in the shopping cart. And we're not going to have it here. We're going to have it in the shopping cart. This is going to be super important. This this is something that would allow us to create a transaction in the shopping cart if if we if we if we needed one. Um, in any case, let's continue. So create okay. admin uh, update. Also admin. Okay, so. We're pretty much going to do the same thing as we did for brands and categories. So for brands and categories, uh, for these ones, buy, date, find on, find buy, I use, date, I use for the admin controller. Okay. And so this find by ID, we're not, we're not even going to have it. Okay. I'm actually kind of excited about this one. So let's start by doing the routes first. Okay. So let's find this one. Okay. So let's start with item routes. So item routes looks very similar to to something like the category controller. Uh, categories controller. 
Okay, this one. All right, it's basically find all, blah, 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 but there's also param. Right, there's a param for There's a param for brands. And brand param is somewhere else. So this is what we're going to do. Um, okay. So we're going to copy paste this and we're going to call it items. Uh, we're going to start with the, let's go here first. So this is items. Um, categories. Change go next items. Uh, category. Change go next item. Uh, category. Change go next item. Like this. Obviously, like none of this is going to compile because these classes just don't exist. Uh, we don't see that it doesn't compile because a bunch of other things over here don't compile. So um, let me see what an item is first. Mm. Okay, this is much more involved. Where does money come from? Squants makes sense. Okay, so we have brand, we have category. So we'll the ID name description is just a value, right? Oh wow, look at this one. Decoder, encoder, key decoder, key encoder. Uh, blah, blah, blah. What are those? Okay, so this means that we're going to shove it into some map at some point. Like, usually I'd be curious and I'd just, like, comment it out. Um, and like see, um, and see where, where it doesn't compile, but right now we have a bunch of code that doesn't compile already. Okay. So what we are going to do is we're going to, um, find something that doesn't, okay. So let's just go like items uh, like this and um, items like this and items like that. Okay. So now we see like the, you know, the real compilation errors. Okay. Uh, like, first of all, like this is not going to be enough for an item. Uh, also, like the real thing that we need to do is I feel like I feel like we're doing too much. Uh, too much at once. Uh, we should we should go back. We should not be afraid to nuke this whole thing. Okay. So. New folder items. Controller. Let's go. Uh. Delete permanently. This needs to be a file. 
if I'll control vertical. Mm. So, well, let's go like this. Okay, so now we're gonna like make it. Open F and it's gonna be new controller dot open or F like this and it's going to require a boundary that currently doesn't exist and it's going to be with HTTP or S uh, DSL like that and so now we can throw this out and grab these put them inside here uh, remove that remove that i have one yep. all right um okay so the boundary doesn't exist so let's go and create it here for now all right this is like a little bit different to how we usually do this but like this is the best way to develop software like to do it like front you know, front end first, but it's but it's not the easiest, right? Um, is it not open? How do I call it? It should be called open, isn't it? Shouldn't it? Controller inside you, open control that open. That's correct. This probably should be control implementation. That's why it's confused. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, like basically this whole structure, I think it's gonna be like faster, right? If we just go like this and we grab the uh, controller from branding, you know? So we're just gonna do it like step by step, right? So I'm gonna grab like this one, right? I'm gonna say, well, we which, which should be a lazy valve, by the way. So we're just gonna grab it, go here. Uh, we're gonna paste it, and it's gonna be items, and um, and then we're gonna grab like this thing, and we're gonna go like this, that, and this is going to be the boundary that is going to have found um, find all it's going to be the boundary and um, we need this guy somewhere like this mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay cool so that says that we don't have brand prem however we do and like this is something that like, especially the fact that it's in the admin package is something that I don't like. So, we're going to copy-paste it. Right? Right, so we're going to grab this thing and we're going to... Um, we're going to copy paste it, but before we can copy paste this, we will need the brand name. Uh, we do have brand name from uh, branding. I wouldn't go so far that I would copy paste that one as well. Oof. Let's try to use our brain and actually understand why we need it. Well, it's basically you can filter by brand, right? Find by brand. So you say, hey, give me all the items or just give me all the... It's basically a filter. And... Um, I 
So basically at this point, we should realize that brand param should not be in admin. Um, so we're going to do like some sort of um, like a TDD kind of thing. You know that we're not going to go refactor stuff when our code doesn't compile. So what we're going to do is we're going to go like this and our code compiles and we're going to find the brand param. like this and we're simply going to move it into that's interesting we don't have a package object for branding okay well now we do <clears throat> all right so pretty much cut it out paste it over here and uh, this is going to be gone and this is going to be branding and that's it. Uh, brand name is invisible. Where's brand name? Okay, so we do have a package up. All right, okay. Okay, this makes sense. This makes sense. Okay, so this is like that thing that I'm complaining about in pretty much every stream is that we cannot have top level definitions in Scala 2. And so we finally ran into the situation where we have exactly the same package and we cannot have this package object again. OBS saying that we're reconnecting. So I was gone for like a couple of seconds. Interesting. What an interesting day. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to say branding uh, package object. And we're going to call it two because the real package object already exists like this. Okay, so we're like, we're sort of like artificially dealing with um, with the fact that we don't have like top level definitions, right? And so we need to go like this package, uh, package branding, and we're gonna call this one package object two. Okay. This means that over here we're gonna go like package object to that brand pram right it's underscore two package object underscore two okay so it's like it's sort of like problem solved right and now over here First of all, like everything still compiles, right? Like SK compile, there are no like errors or warnings, okay? So this means that we can go like, right? And now we can go over here and we can tell the truth by saying that, okay, we're talking about branding uh, and inside of the package object two, there's a brand param, all right? So now we need like find all and find by in our boundary. And so we're going to uh, create a boundary, right? Was the right? Was a find all and find by, right? Notice that the boundary is just like here, right? Just like chilling here. Okay. So now it needs a brand name, which again is uh, in branding. Right, uh, and now all we need is an item, right? And we're going to put it like in here again, right? Because like everything is going to be in here. Like this is what you do when you do like view first or test first, right? Even if this was like a test file, you would like put everything it needs like into this file first, just to make it go faster. And then once you got it going, you move them to the right places. In fact, metals will be able to help a little bit with this stuff later. Um, okay, so we need to go and grab the items. 
which well I guess we'll go here we'll go here okay so this is our item so it needs like item ID item name item description so we'll need to find brand ID because I always forget like where it is okay so this is like exactly the package object where we were okay so because it's a package object I don't want to mess with the incremental compiler later so I'm actually gonna put this one straight into core also I have way more things down there that would compile so I don't want to mess with that either so we're gonna go here we're gonna go new file uh, items and um, well I guess it's a package object right like this oh wow just just based on the name it understood that it would create a package object in there I like that okay so we have this and which means that we're gonna go here we're gonna go here uh, we're gonna grab I kind of I kind of want to grab it from from this one you know I just kind of want to go like this and go here and then just go like that and go like you know items and uh, item uh, oh brand right change go next item all of them and then brand change go next item like this. Um, yes so now we need item, but before we do that, we will need the item description, right? Because again, over here, yeah, so we need the item description and everything else we have. Okay, so let's just grab like these two for now. Let's go into the package object where we were and just go like this. Okay, so we cannot have like these ones, right? Same thing over here. Alright, so we need the money, everybody wants the money, uh, we need the branding brand, categories, uh, quantity from spawns, um, card item, oh, 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 oh. All right, we have some logic in a case class. Some trivial logic, but still. And it lives in cart. For now, it's gonna live here. Um, Now it's gonna live here, and uh, it cannot have these ones. Add parameters. So was this not? Was this some sort of? Was this some sort of our quantity? Okay, so this is our quantity. This is not the one from Squans. So there we go like this like that and like that okay so we also need USD hopefully this is from Squans okay that's fine parameter price okay so which means Gabriel has some custom stuff
Did you guys see that? Okay, so we don't have that. So this is from my copy paste. All right. Okay. So I have ID name, right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, ID name and description. Okay, nice. Okay, so now I couldn't find something or something for price. Okay, so we need to go and see. Uh, what we import over here? We're going with like Squan's Market. You think that there is something in there? And just because of this, probably not. All right, so let's see if this guy tells us something like this. Oh, come on. Yes, show me stuff. Is it not going to be sh is not is it not going to show me stuff because oh it's unrelated. It should show me stuff. Show me stuff. I want to I want to see the implicit that is being used in. Um, It's clearly one of the imports, but uh, all right, let's just steal all of the imports. It imports everything from cart and stuff. Okay, so we cannot have these ones. We don't need this one. We cannot have Cersei stuff. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, so if these are... If these are the only uh, error messages, then it's totally fine. This song is very loud. Um, I don't believe that these are the only error messages. I did not know that you cannot do that. Alright, so these ones are new types, they have to be here. These ones don't don't need to be here. manually because right now I don't think that yeah it cannot metals cannot help me all right so we're gonna go do it manually so we're gonna create a file called item that's column and uh, we're gonna go like this okay and now like for now we're just gonna put everything okay this one is a new type so it's just like this one and this one 
They'll go here. All the imports will come with us. Like that. We should not be getting this um, this warning slash error. Oh yeah, I remember derive actually wants to be. How do we do with the others then? I'm like user, is a derive show. I believe we totally confused. You talk to SBT real quick. You guys still here? Cool, oh, cool. Please don't forget to hit the like button so that more people stumble on the stream. Alright, so. We'll oh, nice, it's just the core. So we're gonna do core compile, and in the beginning, we're also gonna do this. Let's do this one by one. Let's go like this, let's go like that. So there's something about money that we need, for sure. There's something for money defined somewhere, it has to be. Okay, there is a quality and show. you're awake. Great. Oh, by the way, there's a token equality. We were looking for this. Were we not? I remember we were looking for this. Anyhow, let's grab these guys. Let's go here and... Um, like, for now, we're just gonna put it here because this is where we need it. Not the right place to put it, but... Like, this is what happens when you do, like, you know, view first, like, test first, you know? Just put it where you need it, and then later, if you need it in multiple places, move it. Um, all right, import cats. Quality for currency. Do we have it here as well? Yeah, it's right here. All right. So why is it still not happy? Well, probably still not happy because the package object doesn't compile. Or why doesn't it compile? Like this cannot be the error message. So let's take something simple. Right, like no no way. as well. But I have to because it's a new type. 
but it cannot generate a new tab for some reason. I have too many imports. Let's go see. Let's go see the branding imports. It's just this. So there was something in the imports that I really didn't like. I swear to guys, like this is this is why why people say this color is complicated, like implicits and imports. Okay, so I guess we have a similar issue here with the imports. So let's just grab these ones. And this coins market as well. Should be able to go with Karatim, and we should be able to do this thing, and we should be able to organize the imports. Well, close. All right. All right. Great. Give me a sec.
All right, we're back. Man, I don't know what's happening tonight. It's the first stream that we're having like these crazy overheating issues. Uh, I guess we'll I guess we'll finish it uh, soon. Uh, what do I think about Monix? I'm really sorry. I don't know when you asked this question, but I'm gonna answer it now. Um, all right, this thing is working. Um. Monix is really great. It was one of the first, um, like, proper um, uh, functional effect library implementation. Monix is great. Um, the main maintainer um, didn't have some, you know, had some um, stuff going on in his life, so he didn't have much time to maintain it for a while. So there's no version for Cat's Effect 3 yet, but very recently he announced that he's back and, uh, and uh, there's progress. Uh, it's a great library. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, but it really depends why you're asking. Right. So if you're just like evaluating the technology for the next project, there are alternatives. Um, if your question is about like learning, nothing wrong with Monix. All right, so I don't know um, how much you guys saw because of this whole stuttering and stuff, but like this thing compiles now, right? Uh, because we did like this whole item thing. And so right now we're going to make sure that this thing compiles, right? So like this is gone now. And uh, and that's going to be it for tonight. So the way we did it was brands. Um, right, so for example, over here. Okay. Um, we, okay, not brands. Um, Well, brands, but not the admin brands here, right? So we kind of went like this, right? So we're gonna do the same thing, right? But actually, what we should do is we should just define the encoder. Um, really should. Let's find like this. So let's go. Let's go and try it real quick. Okay. So this one was um, here. So it's inside of the object, like that. Okay. So there's gonna be item. Well, pretty much. Um, well, okay, we need to be we need to be more careful this time. Uh, change go next item. Okay, next, 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 next. Ne okay, uh, like this. All right. So uh, obviously for items we need more stuff uh, because uh, item looks like this. All right. So we're just gonna grab that. Um. Like that. Hold up. Grab this thing, go here, go like this, close it over here. Okay, and um, well, we pretty much go like. This, like that, like that, and we go description, price, brand, category, and then we're gonna go like over here, and we're gonna change this to uh, item, and this one is gonna. Uh, this is gonna be. How do we call it? Items, All right? Items, item. And we need like this thing. And we need something for derive. I always forget it. Maybe we can do this. Yeah. Let's see if it can do squawks. 
Uh, that's from, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. So it cannot do like this stuff, which is, which comes like from the package. Not this one. Um, Cersei Codex. That one. So we need them over here as well. So. Well, first of all, find brand ding, change go next items. Uh, find brand, change go next item. Uh, find brand, change go next item. Like that. So we got these ones. Uh, so we also need description. Uh, description. Encoder. And description. Um, item description. Description. Like this. Uh, just asking because everybody seems to be hyping Zio nowadays. Yeah, I mean, Monix is much more, you know, much, much older, much more stable. Uh, yeah, and Zio has always been hyping and it probably will still be hyping for many, many years to come. Like, if you have seen my, my Zio playlist, I really think that Zio is the future. Uh, not necessarily... Not necessarily because of the uh, technical advantages, uh, because it also has disadvantages. Um, but just because of how they set it up was uh, the business and the community and everything, so... Yeah. There's no way of escaping Zio, you have to learn it. Um, so, first of all, we need to like do in both of them, like item dot from domain. Okay, so like here. And so for this, we're gonna need a, what? Oh, yeah, we need a. Need this. Ah, okay, so we need to do this whole nested thing. Uh, nested map. And, um, Right? I think it's value. Same thing here, nested map, and then over here the value. All right, so this part is happy. Uh, also, I prefer like when it's like, when it's like this, right? Then I prefer to do like that, like that, like that, and all right. Um, we're going to remove this whole nested map thing uh, later. Okay, so probably doesn't know how to deal with the money. Let's see. Couldn't find encoder type class for item ID and parameter UID. Really, that one is the issue? Import the Cersei codex, right? We created them, but we didn't import them. Okay, and now it doesn't price and doesn't see them because it's in the package object for item and it doesn't see it. So let's test this theory first. Why did it, why did this not help? There's a quote. Oh, because we actually don't have them. Right. Okay. 
They are for sure somewhere here. Here, money decoder, money encoder. And there we go. And there's also money mono. It. I'm not going to copy it yet because I'm kind of curious like where it is. So we're going to grab this one. Let's put it here for now. Uh, let's just import IO source here. Now it has like the same issues with the brand and stuff. So we need to import like, hmm, I'm not sure if I like this uh, branding sort of codex, but like this is sort of like, hmm, sort of like what you get for not having like top level definitions. Right. Ah, oh, now we have a bigger problem. <laughs> So now we have to do what I wanted to do in the beginning. Mm. So the issue is that like we imported the Cersei Codex and now and it didn't help, right? It didn't help because it actually is looking for um, it's looking for an encoder for brand. And we have an encoder for brand, but not in the brand inside of branding. Uh, you know, for our data transfer object, right? And so we, we, we need to go and remove it. So we'll go, first of all, again, like I don't like when things don't compile. So we're gonna go like this. Okay, so I'm gonna go grab this controller, okay? And we're going to try to define Implicit lazy val encoder for brand. It's going to be an encoder for brand. Uh, well, in this case, we need to actually be a little bit more careful. Uh, we need to go branding that brand. Okay, and this is going to be encoder dot drive. Right. So we need to go like import I O. So, well, no. I don't know. Like this, right? Um, what is it? Derive? Was it not derive? Oh, we also need to do like semi auto right? Import IO Cersei. Uh, uh, generic semi auto. Okay, so is it not? derive I forgot how it's called encoder dot derive all right so this worked Okay, this means that we actually uh, don't need to do this whole nested map value thing, right? Uh, we can just go like this. Because now there is an encoder for, for the brand, right? So we can throw this thing out, right? And furthermore, we can uh, move it into, into Cersei Codex like this. Um... We might actually be able to do deriving. Let me check. So we need, we need like these two, right? Like that. Uh, not this one. We need this one. Right. So does this mean that we can do, well, first of all, we can do this now. Can we do brand deriving? That's only for new types. Yeah. All right. So, okay. So this is going to be like brand encoder. 
great so now we can throw out all of this okay great so now we're gonna do the same thing for category which is what my to do is okay well, hold on we probably need to do the same thing for admin right no yeah cool uh categories well actually we can just go like where is it branding source codex okay we can just go like this go to categories uh, not admin why am i in admin again there's a codex okay so we can go like this oh i just noticed that there's a typo encoder okay like this um Category encoder. Category. There we go. And so we need import IO Cersei generic semi auto. Semi auto. Which means we can go into the controller. We can throw out this whole thing like this. And as my to do is saying, we can throw this out like that. Great. Do we even need a monad? Like, what wants? What wants a monad? Um. Okay, something in HTTP. It's okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so now that we have this, uh, this controller that is uh, commented out, right? Like item controller. Okay. Okay, so now it can derive the encoder for this almost. It's quants market, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now it's good, which means that uh we will do the same thing, right? So it has Cersei Codex. Okay, so we're gonna go here. I'm gonna grab this. Cersei Codex. Uh I'm gonna go like this right so this is going to be item encoder this is going to be item uh we're going to need you know cersei uh, generic semi-auto okay but in this case it's not going to be enough because it's uh, a bunch of other stuff in there okay so in particular we're going to need these ones All right um So I'm gonna go to money, go like this, go like that. Okay, and what else do we need? We need these ones, right? There you go. Okay, so this means that uh again so this is just like this okay and this is just like that yeah and we can go like this like that oh, no, like this and like that there we go and uh, we can throw out all of that stuff. All right. Nice. Uh, do this. Let's also go to Cersei real quick. Sort the imports here. Oh, they are sorted. Nice. So now we have this controller. Uh, there's a trick here for this. Um, uh, for this fact that we cannot use it. Uh, hold up. Oh, we were compiling it. We're heating sometimes. Um, like over here, like if we go like this, right? And we go like this, like Scala cannot do this. I believe even Scala 3 cannot do this. However, 
There's a trick. Which is this, right? So we can do like underscore that pipe and into find by like this. I did something wrong. Oh, there's a two domain. Yeah, I forgot the two domain. So two domain that pipe. Yeah. So now we don't need to do like um, look how it was before and how it is now. All right. In this case, it's actually like the same amount of characters, uh, but now I can use an underscore, and it also reads like a little bit nicer. You know, like uh, brand comes in, you convert to domain, you, pi you pipe it to find by. And now it's also gonna fit it as it was before. This song is loud again. Um, all right, so we, we did almost two hours. Uh, we have this controller. Uh, we do real quick, on the reality real quick. Okay, so. Uh, Move it out like this, save this, save that, uh, save that. Um, uh, I need to go like this. There we go. Go like this. Okay, and now we just need to move this into... Do we have items in the core? Yeah, we do. So we will just grab it and put it over there. Ta-da! Escape compile. All right. Cool. Oh, well, let me check super quick our to dos if we have something super fast to do. Wait, what? What do you mean? Why is it like? Why is it like that? Like what? Like this file doesn't exist anymore? Weird. Yeah, we're not going to do any of that. I'm just going to... Um, I'm just going to go to the item controller. And... Uh, I'm going to go to its boundary. And say... Right here. Uh, create the boundary... Input. There we go. All right. So let's push this thing. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, yes. Diamonds. Uh, commits. Day 16. Yeah. There you go. There you go. There you go. I did a bunch of stuff. Where are the changes? Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's funny.
And we're back from another thermal throttling session. How many of you guys are still here? Don't forget to hit the like button if you're still here. There's some delay, right? So, um, anyway, uh, I did what I wanted today. Uh, we did some, we did some good progress and, um, unless you have any questions, I'm going to see you on Friday. Uh, I'm going to wait for a couple more, uh, um, seconds, I guess, because there's always a delay. So maybe you do have questions. So I'm just going to check out my phone, um, to give you guys a chance to, to ask questions. I guess I'm gonna bounce. So, um, thanks for hanging out, and uh, yeah, see you on Friday, unless something comes up, and then I see you on Monday.